in the life of Englishman William Chatterton Dix. So it was 1865. He was just the age of 29 at that time. He was managing an entire insurance company when a near fatal illness struck him, and this made him bedbound for, for months on end. And so while he was oppressed with this physical affliction, he ended up falling into a, a deep, deep depression during that time, and an utterly debilitating depression. But in the grace and providence of God, this drove William to dive deeply into the scriptures. What, what else was he going to do flat on his back for months? And he gave himself to the word of God. And the Holy Spirit caused this, a spiritual renewal, to, to start in his heart that then started to flow out of his fingertips into a collection of Christian poems, one of which I know that you know. He called it the manger throne. But it wasn't until six years later that an editor took three of the stanzas and then set it to music and then published it. And the name that he chose for the now song were the first four words of the first verse, which was, what child is this? And this hymn, of course, has become one of the worldwide staples for Christian hymnody. And it was grown in the garden of affliction for William, which we as the Church Universal thank God for. And this is such a potent and stirring hymn, I would argue, because the first two verses don't begin with, with just facts about the Incarnation. Rather, they begin with questions about the Incarnation. And it's questions that we are invited to answer, which, which helps us to re-enchant ourselves as Christians for, for those who live and breathe the Gospel and live daily under the reign of the risen Christ. It helps re-enchant us with the unexpected glory of how the life of our Lord Jesus began with, with the astonishing reality of the incarnation that in order to save his people, God Almighty who made the Milky Way and squirrels and you and everything, that God came to us 2,000 years ago on a place that you could Google Maps if you knew the coordinates, as a squirming, tiny, dependent, newborn baby. And his crib was a farm animal's feeding trough. This is an incredible true story that we need to be re-enchanted with. And this is how the story of him fulfilling all of his promises to us would, would begin. And these questions that William poses to us in his songs, if we are paying attention, it's like a bucket of ice water to our face, to wake us up again to the glory of the Incarnation, 